All right, so at school we have a, about three of these Prusa 3D printers. And um, if you have a PC, Macintosh, or Linux computer at home, I recommend you get the software. It's free. Go to the website, software, and just install this one right here. Uh, if you have a Chromebook, it's not going to work for that. So we'll talk about that another day. And so um, once you have the software, then on my computer, I click the Start button. Here's my programs. Here's uh, Prusa. And then down here, this is the actual software. It has a um, black and orange kind of half circle, I would describe it. So I launch that. And the first time you launch it, there will be a, a, setup, a setup wizard. And ideally, I could um, run that again, but I'm not sure how to, um, oh, here it is, configuration wizard. So the first time you run it, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to say, welcome to Prusa Slicer Configuration Wizard. Next. Um, so it's important you know what 3D printer we have. I'd write this down. Um, basically, you want to check the box where it says original Prusa i3 MK3 well, either one of these, I think. Do you know, Seth, if we have the S model or the non-S? So I click this. Um, this is the one we want, okay? I click next, 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 next. Now, um, filament. This is basically the plastic we're going to use. The filaments will always say how, what type it is and how, how the diameter of it. And so next thing to write down is that PLA is probably the most widely used generic run-of-the-mill plastic for, for 3D printers. And it probably wouldn't really matter too much which one you picked here, but let's just say we have the, the Prusa. So we got PLA. That's the type of plastic we're using. And after that, basically we're done. So this is the software. And this is how you launch it. So we have to get our project in here. So let's go over that really quick. So let's say, for example, I have a project that I want to get in. How do you do it? So what you're going to do is in the lower left corner of your screen, you're going to right click and click export. Right click here and click export. The format is important. It's already on STL, which is the correct one. And so I'll click OK. It's going to go to my downloads folder, and I'm going to call it Keychain Period 2. And so now we've exported this to a format called STL, and the Prusa slight slicing software likes that. Now, what the heck is a slicer? What is slicer software? Basically, it's specific software that can take in computer-aided designs and get them ready for the 3D printer. So slicer software gets CAD designs ready for specific 3D printers. And like most programs, if you want to bring something in, we go to File and Import. So File Import. And here it is. All right, so here's my keychain. A couple things on the left side. Uh, we have the Move command. So if you guys are in class and there's six other students, 
be like, hey, anyone want 3D print today? And I'm just going to move my thing. Um, make sure it doesn't go outside the white line here, but move it off and then, you know, import in a second student's thing and a third one. You know, they can share this, share their file with Onshape with the person at the computer. And so you can import, you know, as many things until this build plate is totally full. So please make sure you get as much on here as is needed for that class period. Okay, so besides moving, um, scale, hopefully you don't have to scale things, but sometimes if you want, you know, the second one to be a little bit bigger than the last one, you know, it's easy just to scale it up a little bit. But hopefully you're designing um, to scale and on shape. Next one is rotate. And I can just hold this thing and, and rotate. You know, I can hold the, the blue one, the green, the purple. So the next one is a place on on face, it says, and it's already it's already there. And then we have cut. So that's how those controls work right there. And if you hold down the left mouse button, you can you can rotate around. So let's take a look here um, over here on the right side now. We have some quality. I'm just going to leave it as it is. We've got the right filament. And um, but there's something called supports here, which is really important. I want you to write this down. It says supports none. We want to change this, OK? We're going to change it to be everywhere. It's ask you a question. We're going to say yes. Now, why do we need some supports? Well, let me let me show you here. If you look at this keychain, this area right right in here, it's kind of off the build plate, kind of floating in space, and you can't print. Um, these layers just in thin air, right? It's gotta, it's gotta be built from the build plate. So if you have supports, it's gonna build that in. For example, over here on the lower left corner, it says preview. And you can see that this brown layer is kind of like the base layer. And it's gonna have a couple layers of this green support material that we can rip off later. And then it's gonna have um, you know, a place then to kind of build that up. That's what supports are. Um, let me go back to this and let me just show you really fast. If I have none and I go to slice, I'm going to get an error here. It says error, um, you know, usually caused by negligible small extrusions. You know, so you get this error right there. Why, why did it happen? What happened because I didn't have, it's because I needed supports and it, I didn't have it on. So now when I do it, um, it's gonna work. So um, what's cool right now is I can move this slider down all the way to the bottom and I can see my first layer second layer and I can see my layers as it's going to print it which is kind of interesting and you're just kind of inspecting this so it looks good um, again we might have 10 15 projects on here so once you've sliced it now it doesn't say slice here anymore it says export g-code and g-code is the language of most CNC machines. So we're speaking English now. The, the language of uh, CNC machines is G-code. It's actually you know, a, a programming language. You might have heard of HTML before or something. Um, so G-code, you can click this here. And on the 3D printer, you will find an SD card. And on our computers on the left side, is a slot to pop that in. So I push it in, and you'll notice here on the left side in about a second, there it is. It says Prusa. It might say something different, but that's it. And I'm going to call it um, P2 Keychain. 
And now I've exported the G code onto it. All right, again, you probably have it to where we have, you know, period one for this, this 3D printer, period two for this one, and so on. So that way, you know, your class kind of has its, its own dedicated uh, printer. And um, one thing I want you to know, it's pretty cool with this, how this, these orange spots you see on here, these were all printed with the 3D printer, which is pretty interesting. And um, so I have this SD card here, and I'm gonna flip it to where it looks upside down, and it's gonna, it's gonna pop in here on that side. Oh, never mind that. All right, so once you're at the 3D printer, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a, an alcohol wipe here. And um, I want you to know too that this, this, board, this board comes off here, okay? And so it's really important when you print, you, you, you never wanna print on this blackboard here. You wanna print on this green one. And if you see all your prints on here, you don't want to rip them off on here because you're going to damage the machine. So if you have your prints here, the first thing you want to do is just pull this thing off. Um, you want to make sure that uh, this should be clean already, but just give it a visual inspection. And, um, and so make sure, make sure it's clean. And then you'll see that there's these two pins right here, these two pins. And so I want this part here to, to basically match up with that and then drop this down. And you want to make sure that there's nothing on here. There might be a strand of plastic here, uh, some of them left, but go ahead and <clears throat> make sure that um, this thing is all clean with the alcohol. You can even flip it upside down. And so this is important to do every single time. All right, so once I've done that, I'm going to, um, all you really have to do is, is just press this button and I move this thing like this. It says print from SD. So I click that and then it says P2 keychain, and then you hit this, and that's it. It's gonna warm up right now, it's gonna calibrate itself. And you can see up here, I have the spool. I'm gonna order some different colors, but mainly you wanna make sure it's not like at the very end, but when it runs out, you know, it runs out, no damage is gonna happen. And um, we can put in a new spool. 